What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here and moving on to another video, we're going to do a couple of more limits here. So number one, we got the limit as x approaches five of x cubed minus 125 all over x squared minus five x. So notice we can't make a direct substitution because if we do, that denominator is going to equal zero. But notice that in this case, what we can do is we can factor. We can factor the numerator and we could factor the denominator. And then let's see what happens from there. So x cubed minus 125, notice that that's a difference of cubes. And if you remember the difference of cubes formula, if a cubed minus, if we have a cubed minus b cubed, that's equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So if we apply this here, notice we have x cubed minus 125. So notice that the a is going to equal x, and then what's b going to be? Well, notice b is going to be the third root of 125, which is 5. And then we can take these values for a and b and plug it in here. So the uh, numerator would factor into x minus 5, then we'd have x squared plus a times b, so 5x, plus b squared, so 5 squared, which is 25. And then notice in the denominator, we can factor out an x. So if we factor out an x, we'd be left with x minus 5. And now from here, notice that the x minus 5s cancel out. And so what that means is for this function here, at an x value of 5, there's going to be a hole. Okay, so I don't know how the function necessarily looks like. Um, we can graph it, of course, using uh, tools that we know, but that's going to take quite a while. But what I do know is that at, at an x value 5, there's going to be a hole when a factor cancels out like that. And so we can figure out what the y value is at that hole by now just plugging in 5 into the remaining function. So if we plug in 5 here, we'd have 5 squared plus 5 times 5, so that's 50 plus 25 that would give us 75 over this x value, we could plug in 5 there. And notice now the denominator does not equal 0. So 75 divided by 5 gives us 15. And so this function here has a hole at an x value 5, and then the y value at that hole is 15. So let's say the function maybe looks like that. Well, the limit as x approaches 5 Notice from both sides, the y values are approaching 15. And so that is the answer to this limit here. You don't necessarily have to know the diagram, just wanted to show you whenever you have factors cancel out like this, it means there's, an, there's a hole at that x value. All right, so 15 is the answer for number one. Let's move on to number two. So we have the limit as x approaches negative four of two x squared plus seven x minus four over x squared minus 16. Notice that we can't do a direct substitution because if we sub in negative 4 here in the denominator, we'll have negative 4 squared, which is 16, minus 16 is 0, can't divide by 0. So what we can do, though, is factor both the numerator and the denominator. 2x squared plus 7x minus 4, that is going to factor into what? 2x minus 1, x plus 4. If you do decomposition or however you factor quadratics, that the numerator factors into this. And then x squared minus 16, notice that's a difference of squares, which would be x minus 4 times x plus 4. So now notice the x plus 4s cancel out. And now we can make a direct substitution. We could sub in negative 4 for the x values without the denominator equaling 0. So if we sub in negative 4 up top, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, minus 1 is negative 9, and then uh, negative 4 minus 4 is negative 8. And then notice the negatives cancel out, so we got 9 over 8. So that is the answer to number 